Well, times are changing, and so are the neighborhoods. Now, if you've driven or walked around a few blocks in either direction around 6th and Lincoln in downtown Denver, you've seen the changes. New buildings that will be or are now home to apartments and condos and restaurants. And there are also changes coming to buildings that have been here for years. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez has more on the changing face of our Colorado. Lance? Well, there have been so many changes, it's hard to even remember what used to be in certain places, whether you look to the west, to the east, to the north, or to the south, there are sky cranes everywhere. The Golden Triangle, Cap Hill, and Baker neighborhoods are undergoing tremendous change. Multi-million dollar developments underway at 7th and Logan, Spear and Bannock, 7th and Spear, and down at South Broadway and Bayot. Denver's been growing so fast over the past several years, and I think with an influx of people, uh, they start looking for places to go, things to do. Broadway Market opens tomorrow in the old Tony's Market. It'll feature some of Denver's best chefs, 10 different food concepts, including a chocolate shop, and a bottoms-up serve-yourself beer wall, which you access with a card. Uh, you flash it in front of here, you pick which beer you want. You press the glass down, voila! Your glass fills up with beer. On Logan Street, Governor's Park has been gutted. Carboy Winery will soon take its place. One block west, an eight-story luxury apartment tower is under construction. Another luxury tower being built on Spear, density, is the word of the day. Oh, it used to be a little sleepy growing up. Um, I thought that. Um, now I wish there were le was less traffic. I don't mind the new stuff coming in. I'm just sort of sad when I see old things going away. Like your favorite pizza joint. Well, there's a lot of changes, but I think it's exciting. I think the new development brings jobs to the area. Um, it revitalizes areas that were you know, not visited as often. The new outpatient tower under construction at Denver Health is an example of the jobs aspect. It'll support about a thousand employees and it'll be our second largest building on campus. All those employees will keep nearby businesses humming. And Wade Ebersall, the Associate Chief Operating Officer at Denver Health, says they're going to build a new parking garage to go with that new outpatient center. He says it will be built at 5th and Acoma and will be the largest on their campus. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7.